Hey guys, it's Claudia Fernandez and I want to talk to you guys about my new category, which is my divine purpose. This means a lot to me. I want to get into detail about this. I want to talk about finances, debt. I want to talk about decision making. I want to talk about fashion with it. Um, so I want to start this category off with my philosophies for 2020. Um, some things that mean a lot to me that, you know, they come as I grow and develop. So I feel like they are helping me a lot. And I feel like it's beautiful that this is happen happening to me as we're entering the new year. So the first thing I want to talk about is ripping off the band-aid. Okay. So ripping off the band-aid, what does this mean and how do you do it? And also, what are you targeting with this message in your life, right? So the first thing I want to talk about is business. So ripping off the Band-Aid in business. When you have a lot going on in life and there are times that you don't know what to do, you have to make a lot of decisions in a short period of time. So, ripping off the band-aid means, let's say you have to make a phone call, or you have to answer to an email, or you have to reach out to somebody that's, you know, the conversation makes you nervous, it makes you jittery, you know, like, you don't know, like, you're just like, well, I don't know too much about this topic, uh, I'm scared, like, I gotta call them, and I don't know what to say, like, you know, I wanna be professional, well... This is what you have to do. You just make the call. You make the phone call. You reach out to this person and you explain to them your situation. You talk to them and you let them know what's going on. You let them how you let them know how you want to fix the problem, how you can help like what you do know. So you bring you to the table. So for 2020, we need to rip off the bandages. And sometimes the bandages that we have, they have coloring on them. They're, you know, like the ones that you can buy at the store. And they're very cute and colorful, right? And some of them are just plain. So for the colorful ones, that means these are little things. You're just scared and you don't know how to go about it. But rip it off anyway because that will lead you to something else, right? That'll lead you to bigger situations and bigger things that'll make you elevate and then at the same time you can figure out if this injury that has a band-aid on it is actually something that you need to heal and maybe it's not a big deal and this is just a revelation to you to know that I'm growing up okay so that's really big and it's very powerful and it means a lot to me personally this is one of my golden nuggets, which I will get into that later on. Um, I have a whole list of golden nuggets and, you know, they're very special to me. Another thing that I want to talk about and that it's really important is sitting back and eating the popcorn. So sitting back and eating the popcorn is a message that I've also heard from somebody else in a sense kind of like, you know, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, which everybody talks about that, but nobody really teaches you how to feel. Okay, so like how to feel uncomfortable, how to deal with it, you know? And the first thing that I want to add to that is one is faith. If you have faith, whenever you feel uncomfortable and you're developing your faith, so your faith is also growing, excuse me, your faith is also growing with you as you develop, then that means when you feel uncomfortable, you have somebody to talk to when you are alone, okay? Um, another thing that happened to me last night is I was super tired. I had came back from a business meeting and, you know, I have responsibilities too, you know. I have to wash dishes sometimes. I have to sweep up a little bit, you know. So I'm really tired, mind you. I've been ripping and running all day 
And I'm like, no, knowing me, I am an overachiever. I will try to do more than I can sometimes. And it's a good, and it has, you know, his its perks. So anyways, I am washing dishes. I'm tired. I'm thinking to myself like, man, I can just go take a shower real quick. And after I shower, I can come back and wash these dishes and go to bed. You know, finish my extra little to-do list and stuff. Let me just, no. If you have a plan and you know, okay, if I wash these dishes first, even though I'm dressed, I want to get in my pajamas, let me just go ahead and tackle it. Go ahead and wash those dishes, right? And then figure out what else you need to do. Okay, so now I have to get undressed. I have to put on my pajamas. You know, or I got to hop in the shower first. You know, all of that, right? So those strain of thoughts, it's late, you're tired. All right. So you go ahead and hop in the shower after you wash your dishes, right? By the time you get your pajamas on, you walk out of the bathroom, you probably brush your teeth in there and everything. You'll forget that the kitchen is cleaned up. So you'll walk by and you'll be like, oh, snaps, I cleaned the, I washed the dishes. I'm ready to go to bed. I am Gucci. <laughs> so... What does that what does that do to you in your life, especially if you're trying to achieve, you know, multiple things or other things? That means that you yell out, you scream out, you holler and you say success. I succeeded. Why? Because you did something that you told yourself you were going to do and in the order that you were going to do it. So I walk out, I see the dishes and I'm just like I just got happy. Like, it was just like a spiritful, I mean, I don't even know how to word it. Like, it was just a moment where I was like, whoa, like I did it. Like, because sometimes you are in the moment, so you don't see what you really accomplish. And yeah, just say success. And that's just an example. You can talk about this with other things like, I don't know, making up the bed. I mean, you deserve to say, and this is something that I wrote down. Let me see if I can um, explain it to you. It says, walk around and say success to things that you've accomplished, even if they're small things like washing the dishes. The thing about this is that you have to mean it. So if you're tired washing the dishes and you rather shower and go to bed, you deserve to say success. So guys, stay tuned because my next video, I want to talk about debt. And that's super important and super powerful because... If you're trying to accomplish success as far as wealth building, then you need to hear this. Peace.